this problem here. A radioactive substance decays at an annual rate of 13%. If the initial amount of the substance is 325 grams, which of the following functions F models the remaining amount of the substance in grams t years later? So in this problem, each year the amount of the radioactive substance is reduced by 13% from um, the prior year's amount. And that is each year 87% remains of the previous year's amount of the substance. Since the initial amount of the radioactive substance here was 325 grams, so after one year, there would be 325 grams times 87%, or we can write it as 0.87. There would be 325 times 0.87 grams remains after one year. Therefore, after two years, that would be 325 times 87% of that. And then 87% of um, what remained after one year. Okay, or we can write this as 325 times 0.87 squared as a function, exponential function. So um, after t years, therefore after t years, that would be 325 times 0.87 to the power of t grams of substance remains. So we can write our function as f function of t equals 325 times 0 0.87 or 87% to the power of t. So our answer here would be letter A. Let's solve another problem here. In the xy plane above, O is the center of the circle. And the measure of angle AOB here is pi over A radians. What is the value of A? So the first thing we do here is to find the length of the radius. We're given here point A, and then point O is 0, 0. So we can use the distance formula to solve for the distance from point O to point A. So that is our distance formula. So using the point here, points here, point A and point O. So that would be x sub 2, say square root of 3 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared. So this is just equivalent to square root of the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared, which is just equal to square root of 3, you know, 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1, and that is just the square root of 4. So the distance is equal to 2. Therefore, our radius is equal to 2. Okay, since we already have the value of our radius, which is equal to 2, we already got the value of the radi radius, which is equal to 2. And then we know that from point, from here, 
from the x-axis to this point is just equal to 1. So y here is 1. So therefore, um, the other side of the triangle is just equal to 1. So we can use sine of angle AOB is just equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 2. And then to find the angle, angle AOB is just equal to the sine inverse of 1 half. And sine inverse of 1 half is just equal to 30 degrees. Now we have the measure of angle AOB, which is equal to 30 degrees. And it says here that the measure of angle AOB is pi over A radians. What is the value of A? So we just have to convert um, 30 degrees in radians and equate it to pi over A. So let's convert 30 degrees to pi radians. So we just multiply this to pi over 180 degrees. So this is just 30 pi over 180. And 180 is divisible by 30. So that is 6. So this is just equivalent to pi over 6. Then we, we can equate pi over 6 to pi over a to solve for a. Then a here is just equal to 6 pi over pi, and pi here cancels out, so the value of a is just equal to 6.